Hello everybody, it's Diane back again from Tattered Edges Design and I'm kind of jumping on a bandwagon or grabbing an opportunity however you want to view that. If anyone has seen, Shannon Green recently did a video about glue books where she had been tagged by somebody else, it's going around YouTube I guess, where you're supposed to show your glue books and answer some questions about them and that and at the end you're supposed to tag another person for them to do the same thing. Well, after Shanna did that, she said in her own witty way, um, just consider yourself tagged. If you want to do this, just go consider yourself tagged. So I'm going to consider myself tagged because believe it or not, I really had it kind of in the back of my mind to do this sometime if I was lacking a video subject and, you know, I felt like videoing. So I thought, well, all right, I had it in the back of my mind anyway, so I'm going to do it. So these are my two glue books that I have at the moment. Um, I do have some other, what I would consider more collage books. So I'm not showing those here, but maybe someday I'll get into that. But um, the difference to me anyway, a glue book is just, ooh, that's a cool picture in a magazine. So I cut it out and I want to kind of keep it and put it somewhere so it's in here. A collage book more is, ooh, that's a cool picture image but I'm going to incorporate it into a collage and make a whole finished you know art piece on a page so that to me is the difference and we'll start this one is not done this one is done so we'll start with this one um, it was a hardback book I picked up at a thrift store I painted the cover it's, this part is part of the original cover There's some washi tape on there and before a lot of you are going, how could you ruin a nice book like that? I, um, sorry, kind of banged that. Um, I bought it with the intent to resell it on eBay and make some money because it was a really nice book. And it sat and sat and sat. I had it at a reasonable price. Nobody ever bought it. I relisted it a few times. So I guess there was no interest there. So anyway, I have a paper here because my address is there and nobody needs to see that. But this is the first page. Now this to me is more of a collage, but I did that on the first page. I started this in 2018 in December and I finished it in 2020 of this year. Love this year. Yeah, 2020 of this year. January of this year. So anywho, um, and I'm knocking my little fan over. I know I'm being a klutz today. Um, so I left part of the original book where I liked it. This is a playing card. And I did, I don't know if you can see, I did remove some pages because it, it was getting slightly bulky, too bulky for it. And that's all I did. I didn't, I have since then seen videos about altering a book where you glue some pages together and take out some and da da da. I didn't know all that. I just did here and there I ripped out a page. So this one is a little more of a collage -y thing, but uh, that was an APC I made and just added stuff I liked, this washi tape. And when I first started this one, I did intend to write here and there, like that's a little weather report and stuff, but that kind of fell by the wayside. And so here's a good example of just glue book. I just, this was just in a magazine. I just liked it. I cut it out and added some washi tape is you know a tag off something I thought was neat this is part of the original book it's the picture I liked that's a bookmark I made I did leave occasionally um, part of the book text like here introduction I found my name printed somewhere giant flower out of catalog and now this some people might say well but you're adding paint and stuff that's not really just a clue book yeah you know I did in this one, on a lot of pages when I'm, I was done kind of gluing, I did go back with paint or marker or something just to doll them up. I just wanted to. This is an old note card. This is paint and some gesso. This is the original book page. This, um, I don't think I mentioned, it was about pressing flowers. So there's some glassine envelopes in here I left and tucked in something I wanted to save. I did, I don't know if you can see, I just sewed over some text when it was in the way, so to speak. 
This is an original book page, and then I had this interior of a 1970s, very mod, very cool envelope. So I thought that looked good. And you can see here where I, you know, jested out some of the book text. And yeah, it's intentionally kind of sloppy. I kind of liked it that way. Um, you know, a business card, just stuff I liked. Magazine, stuff I liked. This isn't too glary. It's a note card, a contemporary note card, or, you know, current, however you want to phrase it. And then I added marker to make it look it's going off. It's just a magazine. And this is part of the original book, and I added a couple scrap paper birds on it. Or, I said magazine. Book. I can't talk today. I'm tired again. Uh, so, you know, like this, I had printed this off. That's Buster Keaton. And... I was going to make a collage out of it, but it printed kind of soft, and I just thought, eh, that's not going to work. So in lieu of just tossing it, I put it in here. Some sketches a friend of mine gave me. Magazine, magazine, a sticker. You know, it's a cool picture I found in a book. It's um, at William Randolph Hearst's mansion. It's a bunch of movie stars. as Buster and his wife and... Greta Garbo and Norma Shearer. I think it's John Gilbert down there. At any rate, I just thought it was cool. This is an original page. I just added some paint. Yeah, I don't know. Do we want to go through every page here? You know, I did... This was scrapbook paper doors that, you know, made them open. Original book. It's a big strip of I think it was upholstery fabric or wallpaper or something in a magazine. That's out of an actual book. You know, if you find a quote you like or phrase you like, that's a good place as a glue book to keep that. I will say I tend I do tend to work in color, so to speak. Like these to me all kind of match with this. That's just a book page. I didn't do anything to that at all. It's an old greeting card in there. This was the original book page, and I got a new set of markers, so I just tried them all out. It was kind of dumb, but kind of neat. But yeah, you might want to grab sunglasses. <laughs> wow, huh? <laughs> I like it. It's part of the original book, and then a bunch of mod stuff. I colored in flowers with the marker. This was a contemporary ad. So why are you whining? Oh, because there's a squirrel outside, and I want to go out there. No, thanks. But I thought that went very well with this. And then I did put paint, painted around. Kind of jazz that up. Now here we go, much more subdued. That's another buster off the internet, and I don't remember why I didn't use that or whatever. But at any rate, it wound up in here. So the, like these are a little more collage-y, kind of, but usually when I do these, I just, I probably glued this down and thought it was cool, and then later went, oh, this flower kind of matches, and added that, and then I, I don't really save a bunch of stuff and then make a collage. I kind of add it as I go, which I admit occasionally gets you into trouble, but no, this one is much more collage-y, too. That's a scrapbook paper owl. And this, yeah, this was kind of a, you know, added as you go thing. Those are markered flowers. I tried to kind of emulate the flowers that were there. This is, you know, just kind of did this more for color, color sake. This is an old greeting card and some scrapbook paper. It's a miniature playing card right there. And I did marker the border. These are uh, page tab sticky things that are new. This is obviously kind of a collection page of fonts. I think most of, I think they're all old, but I thought that was cool. So I've, I kind of started that, and when I'd come across a cool font, I'd cut it out. And it's like there's a space there. I could put something in there, I suppose. That's another mod page. Yeah, this one 
I will say I'm not really proud of this area. I drew something. I, th I think I was trying to draw like these flowers or something and I didn't like it. So I'm like, well, big deal. I'll go over it with paint. Well, it was a big deal because I grabbed the wrong paint. I don't know if you can see it. It, it was a glossy paint, not a matte. And it looked dumb and I went over it and it still looks dumb and I'm not real happy with it, but that's a, you know, not every page could be perfect. I wanted to save an ATC I made, so I made a little pocket here. These are all markers. Oh, there's another Buster picture, the same thing. I don't know why, you know, maybe my, you know, printer gremlins accidentally printed two instead of one or something, but you know, whatever. This was a uh, current just a notes those fold over stationary things they made years ago i saw it in a thrift shop and thought no well, that was neat big deal but then when you open it it's baby birds i thought it was cute so i grabbed that so since it was birds we just added more birds that's our nap that's a napkin mostly magazine stuff here see now here we have another kind of color this is all black and white, with the exception of the Pyrex here. But that's all old magazine stuff. This is a scarpa paper. I doodled some flowers. Oh, this is, yeah, has nothing to do with gluing. This all marker. I just, once in a while, I, I do little drawing, cross stitch something in the evening. And apparently, at some point, I had nothing to do. So I did that. This is a tag I made years ago, but it got kind of bent in storage, so I couldn't, I didn't know what to do with it. So I glued it in here. More doodling. Here's another kind of loud page. I think it started with this. I just thought it was cool. And then I was adding stickers off an envelope somebody sent me. And this picture, I don't know if you can see it. It's a purple carpeting, kind of seafoam green fixtures with kind of I don't know, lime, more of a limey green and black wallpaper, and it was the before picture of a bathroom and something. And I actually like the before better than the after, so I put that in there. Just magazine. And someone's practicing their trombone again. This is more of a Hollywood page. This was obviously flowers. I saw in a magazine they had the old uh, 60s, uh, 70s enamel pins that were popular. So I cut a few of those out and then it just sort of grew from there. So after that, every time I found a cool flower, I'd put it in here. But like there's a sticker, that's a tissue box, a little wrapping paper. And then I found this big text there. So I glued that onto the envelope actually. And here's another color coordinated page. It's playing cards. It's a bookmark I made that's out of a magazine. I markered the dots. Dogs, playing cards, scrap of paper, magazines. This page never really quite got finished. I wouldn't say I'm really done with that, but there it is. Um, this was a, just a little journal card thing I made, but I liked it. And it's just a mishmash. It's the evolution of Barbie's dream house. I just thought that was cool. You know, it's kind of, school glue books for me are, it's kind of like a scrapbook, but it's not the personal stuff, like the ticket stubs and the, you know, the plane tickets and the commencement, you know, souvenir program or something. It's just stuff you find in your kind of everyday life, but you really like it and want to keep it. Another color coordinated thing. This was a book page. It's a greeting card. Scrap of paper, dear. And these were just... Chef Boyardee came out with retro labels. I thought they were neat. It's playing cards or stickers on a card someone sent me. A little Cracker Jack wrapper. Just magazines. Pretty much. I think that's, that's a greeting card. A little washi. There's the, I thought this was a neat, Pyrex um, pattern names. I thought that was kind of interesting. It's mostly magazine. That's off the internet. Well, I just 
added sloppy borders around. I mean, it's, oh, actually, I like this page. It's just bright. Kind of, it started with this. I like the couch and that. And I did paint. That's all paint behind there, the yellow. And another, oh, another doodle page. And it's just pictures. It's a book page, magazine, a postage stamp. It's a garment tag I thought was neat. Here's your ball mason jar through the years logos. I thought that was cool. It's my own um, calling card. Yeah, think of it, Diane. There's a fabric salvage thing. Just, you know, scrap of paper. See here you can see there's a page where I ripped out a page. Another coordinated thing. This was a purchase pocket. I had, um, these were from uh, Nick the Booksmith. She has them on her Flickr. <laughs> I thought they were really cool, but I never did anything with them. So I decided to stick them in here. A scrap of paper, magazines, a postage stamp. And the last page here. I like Xenia's. That's a very pretty magazine. And back of the book. Okay, this one is not finished yet. Uh, this was, they call it a memory book, I think. It was brand new and it's cellophane um, at a garage sale. Just a minute, I'm going to pause and see what we're growling at. Okay, well, the people behind us had the nerve to be out in their yard. That's what we were growling at. Anyway, um, I picked this up brand new at a garage sale just because it was cheap and it was neat and I had no intention of what I was going to do with it. But when this one got filled up, I thought, well, that'd be a good glue book because it's spiral bound and so I've done nothing with it so far with the cover and these um, all these pages are kind of done as far as gluing but I haven't gone back and done any borders and stuff and I don't know if I will I don't know these are actual book pages it's just magazines and the rest it's, that's a book page bird but it's the same thing with this one I kind of I think I did start with like those two and then glued her in, and then I've been kind of adding. Now this is your, you know, on moss page, collection page. These are all dogs, obviously. I haven't done any kind of border thing or anything. I don't know if I will. That's actually a food packaging box I thought was cool. Napkin. I think the rest of these are magazine. That's an old Christmas seal. Now this is not done yet. I think that's all magazine there. It's an ATC I made once. A little drawer part I made. I don't think this is quite done either. Horses. This is kind of done, but I haven't obviously done, like I said, any kind of border thing. And it, these kind of these two kind of match. See, you know, if I had, you know, foresight, I would have done it more like this. But these I just, you know, make as I go. So, and not that I'm a cookie freak, but I do bake quite a lot. And I just thought, I started with, what, this stack I thought was pretty cool. And so every time I see a neat cookie in an ad or something, I cut it out. And this is an old uh, coupon I found in a catalog for the Pillsbury you know, ready-made cookie dough. And I did it this way so I didn't glue down the back. And there's more cookies back there. You know, how fun is that, right? And these... I don't think these are done. That's off a postage stamp, you know, sheet that was like the border. And this, I just, the cat and the plot twist were added. This was just this, and I just thought it was cool. So I put it down with this, I thought it was pretty, and then added those later. These are just um, copies, they're not even real. Just glued down. And I, this is not done. I just started a black and white page there. And this is mostly doodling with, you can see this, whatever this is. I don't know if it's just a house. It's almost like a country club or something. But anyway, where the trees got cut off, I decided to do something about that. So I did all that. And I don't know if this is done or not. This is a little more not a collage, but I did put a little more thought into where I want this stuff. Not done, obviously. A little schmutz there. This was um, 
if anybody probably nobody's gonna recognize her she's an old mouse well, i guess she did other stuff but silent movie actress mainly louise brooks if i wanted her picture for something i was doing and my printer you know the printer gremlins did that i'm like oh great you know but actually it's kind of cool <laughs> so i put it in here and then we're back to kind of color coordinating i haven't done anything with this these are just a bunch of doors i thought was kind of fun I haven't done anything with this. This is not done. This, I just like this Chanel ad, so I started with that, and then I added that because the colors kind of matched, and then for somehow it kind of became a cat page. So there, this Christmas stuff that's obviously not done yet. This was just a, in a uh, recent uh, Better Homes and Garden, I think. But anyway, yeah, B H and G. December 2017. Anyway, I just thought it was neat. I put it in, and then this facing page I kind of started with colors that kind of matched. This is part of a tissue box again. These are, guess what these are? I'll give you a few seconds. They are, I, I did cut them down a little bit, they were a little longer. They, um, are things that come with your pods, Easter egg die kit that they you put them in a circle and slit, you know, there's a slit in it so they'll hold to put your egg in it, little egg stamps. It's out of a stamp catalog, it's just a magazine. I started another dog page because I ran out of room with the other one. And I started another cool fonts thing. Oh look, there's an old Mod Podge. Doesn't change much, has it? And I had a couple pictures of Buster, the same thing. I didn't use them or whatever, so I did. This kind of stands by itself, but I don't know if I'll add to that. Some horses, salt magazines, not done, not done. This probably will stand on its own. Not done, but getting there. I decided to start strawberry pages. And I started a little fall Halloween thing that you can see this hasn't gotten far. And this hasn't gotten too far. Is it getting cute? Is it cute? That's a calendar. That's old. Uh, you know, like a McCall's Nina would probably add. And this is separate. I just thought that kind of went with her. I put it behind. And I think we're getting close to the end. I started another doors page. And that's it. I still have a few pages left. So yeah, I'm not going to address the questions, you know, about it was kind of glue to use and all that. If anybody's really interested, they can ask in a comment. But anyway, I just thought, like I said, I'd jump on and show my glue book. So there they are. And you know what? If you have a glue book, why don't you show it too? It's the more inspiration out there, the better. And I will, I'll link, um, assuming I remember, Shannon's video down so you can see how she, you know, the official thing they're doing and her questions and answers and all that. But anyway, that's it today, gang. So thanks for watching and have a nice day.